Hi guys, how we doing? So, I'm going to be doing two videos today just in case. We are supposed to get some awful weather in the next couple of days. And if I don't have power, I don't have internet, which means I don't get to upload. So, I'm going to hope that I just have, you know, backed up videos for a couple of days. But first we're going to go ahead and get the, t the white swan uh cranes started and after that i will start on some of the detail work on the dragon but we are going it's not gonna be a huge color difference um and if you do watch a lot of my videos and you are wondering yes this is the paint that i mixed for the angel wings because kind of the same as I didn't want them to be pure perfect white. We don't want these guys to be a pure perfect white either. And that little bit of metallic tone will actually help it tie into the other two who have the uh, copper base. Pardon me for a second there. My brush was just a little too stiff. I had to soften it up a little. So you can kind of see it doesn't make a huge crazy difference, but it does make it a little softer. Um, that and the primer is generally a very matte finish. This is going to have just a little bit of a shine to it. Um, same as I did with the copper copper two. Um, I am going to go ahead and go over the lip. The beaks and the legs and the details that will be other colors just to give it that nice base tone make it completely cohesive from beginning to end and i am just kind of trying to make sure you guys are actually sitting on my heater today because i was really just not feeling the urge to fight with moving my camera mount from my small tripod to my large tripod so my large tripod is actually sitting right beside you um but this does make my life a little bit easier since i am going to need the small tripod once i move this guy back and i start on the dragon which what i'm going to be doing today is going to be a lot of fun because it was actually a great idea by my boyfriend and um, before I add the oranges in I'm actually gonna do some gold details in a few spots and I think that's gonna tie in really really well and I'm hoping that that red is gonna show through as well so it's actually a lot of fun when I have multiple projects going like this and I do spend time working on one kind of thinking on the other um, as I was going through this morning making sure everybody was ready I spent a lot of time kind of planning on both trying to make sure that everything was ready to go um, I do work tomorrow and unfortunately that is when the weather is supposed to start so i am going to try and have i'm probably going to upload one video as soon as it gets done and the next video i'll upload tomorrow just that way if i'm offline for a couple of days you guys have at least some kind of recent activity i don't just leave you with absolutely nothing Though traditionally it does seem to take a couple of days for any one of my videos to kind of start to see any real activity, which is fine with me. As long as they are starting to be viewed, I'm happy. If it takes it a day or two, it takes it a day or two. More, more than anything, I don't want to just be doing this for no reason. If people aren't interested in seeing the videos, then 
there's not a lot of point in me doing them. It's just more me having fun working on my projects. And I do apologize for the way the lighting is hitting today. Um, my placement's a little bit weird and the light outside is a little bit weird because it is a little later in the day than I normally like to work. Um, and that is mostly... I spent the first half of my day completely scrubbing down my fish tank and trying to find a missing fish. So... That's always a super fun challenge there. I did unfortunately find the missing fish eventually, but I, it did take me find, uh, removing every single piece of decor from my tank, which if you go through my videos, you'll see a video or two of my tanks and you'll kind of see why that is not the most convenient thing in the world. But you have to kind of take measures when something like a six inch gourami just vanishes. Because that's not something if, as did end up being the case, it was a deceased fish. They don't, they can actually mess up your entire tank balance. And they can endanger your other fish, which I am very fond of my tanks. So, the last thing I want is to start a domino effect with the fish that I have in there. So, once it's settled, I may pop up a little short of the tank running because it does look really, really good now that it's been cleaned out. And I do realize it's been a little while since I t posted anything of any of the pets or tanks. Um... I have actually, since, since the last one, I actually did set up a beta tank now that is sitting on my kitchen counter. I don't think I've ever managed to get around to putting anything of that one up. I do apologize if I am a little all over the place today. Oh, excuse me. As I said, it's been a little bit of a, hec a hectic day trying to get things done. And also, when you have as many exotic pets as I do, any threat of weather that might take out the, uh, the power takes preparation. We actually have a power source that we keep, and I've got to get it charged up for my bearded dragon Kratos's enclosure because he does need his temperatures. Um, if the freezer goes down, I have to kind of get creative with where the chinchillas cold rocks get kept. Um, things like that. We just have to kind of make sure we're completely prepared. We also had to get, uh, a different kind of salt because this year we do have Loki who we do not want to use regular salt that's going to possibly burn his little feet. So I did have to pick up some uh, animal safe salt as well. There's a lot more that goes into being an animal parent, owner, whatever term you like to use, then I think a lot of people realize. And if you're not taking the time to really prepare, then you can end up in some really rough situations when your pets have those needs and you have no way to take care of them.
And I just realized you guys may not be able to see the head that I'm working on right now. Um, there we go. These really are just absolutely gorgeous statues. Lawn ornaments, whatever you want to call them. And I do look forward to seeing how they come out in the end. I think they're going to come out quite gorgeous. Um, I've actually almost finished coating this guy. And I will show you how the two bronze ones, or coppery ones I should say, turned out. And next time we'll be back to working on them. Same as I did with the them, I will probably just paint this guy on film and then we'll get the other one caught up afterward. There's just only so much of the same thing that I want that I'm gonna expect you guys to watch. Trying to make sure we didn't miss anybody here. And if you get a little peek at me, so be it. I'm not afraid of the camera, I'm just not interested in being the focal point. And as always, I do tend to end up a little bit messy by the time I get out here able to set the camera up and get going with it. <coughs> Let's not pull the light down with the crane foot. That wouldn't work well. Probably should have primered that a little bit better in there, but that's all right. We can at least get it a little bit more covered this way. Um, believe it or not, this paint does actually have a little bit of a base in that primer, just because it is a nice sturdy paint. And using up all of your white paint is never a great plan. And I just realized that that beak was definitely nowhere near dry. So we've got today's paint covered hands for you. But I think he is quite ready to be set aside to dry. And I'll come back and touch up any spots I might have missed and get the other one started off camera. And if you live pretty much anywhere east of the Mississippi, I hope that this weather doesn't beat you up too badly. Um, I'm also kind of hoping not to have to deal with snow here. But if we do, it'll be at least kind of fun to watch how Loki reacts to it. And if he seems to really enjoy it, maybe I'll try and get the camera on him a little bit and let you guys... See that he is still there and he is still quite healthy and full of energy and still thinking he's half a kangaroo. Um, but if he reacts to it anything like he does rain, please don't take it personally for me not posting it. But a dog desperately trying just to get his business done and get back in the house is not the most exciting thing to see. And... This dog loves his creature comforts. He likes to be in on his nice fluffy bed, relaxing, and he does not like to get his feet wet, but he also does not like to wear shoes. So, 
snow should be an interesting experiment with him. But for now, this guy is ready to dry for a bit. So I am going to kind of pick you guys up. And a little sneak peek of the dragon there. But there's how the cranes are looking. Please pardon my mess. And here's this one. And you can tell when I get in the light of the my boyfriend's work lamp. Because you do get a little bit of that. Almost looks like I've got a ceiling fan going or something. But I am going to end this one here for now. And I'll be back in just a little while to start the dragon. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later.